The vast majority of people who use our testing service get a test that is close to home, and the average distance travelled to a test site is now just 5.8 miles down from 6.4 miles last week. But the whole House knows that there are operational challenges, and we're working hard to fix them. We've seen a sharp rise in people coming forward for a test, including those who are not eligible. And Mr Speaker, throughout this pandemic, we have prioritised testing according to need. Over the summer, when demand was low, we were able to meet all requirements for testing, whether priorities or not. But as demand has risen, so we're having to prioritise once again. And I do not shirk from decisions about prioritisation. They're not always comfortable, but they are important. The top priority is, and always has been, acute clinical care. Over the weekend in Bolton, where infections are highest in the country, a mobile testing centre failed to turn up. Meanwhile, in Bury, hundreds queued for five hours for a test. In Walsall, a father with his sick child travelled 76 miles to an appointment in Wales, only to find on arrival that tests had run out. The Secretary of State is losing control of this virus. He needs to fix testing now. We processed yesterday 9,278 tests just in the Pillar 2, so outside of the NHS testing capacity, in just those top 10 local authority areas. Just yesterday, we processed 1,428 tests in his own local authority area. So the good news is that the capacity is at record levels and that record numbers of people are able to get tests. Now, I don't deny that it is an enormous challenge. And when you have a free service, it's inevitable that demand rises. The challenge is to make sure that we prioritise the tests we have as a nation to those who most need it. And that's what I set out in my answer. He asks about the backlog. The backlog is actually uh, falling and is less than one day's uh, test uh, processing capacity. 